scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. Yes, from the opening music you've sussed it, it's not a Doctor Who based podcast. Oh no. It's something so much better. Oh, I'm lying. It's just something so much different. It's Torchwood. Of course it is. As you could also hear, that's the new Torchwood music because Torchwood is back. Torchwood is back on Big Finish. It's audio. Now people are saying, oh, it's been years since it's been on. But yep. We had audio. We've had the BBC versions of Torchwood. And I'm sure that these are good enough to be shown, well, played on Radio 4. Because they're brilliant. This is the first one of a handful of stories. Now, it's got more in common with, say, a companion chronicle. But I'll explain why in a moment. For those of you who don't know, the companion chronicles are more first-person storytelling with a handful of other people in the cast rather than, say, the full cast audios. It's similar to, say, the the Liberator Chronicles, rather than the uh, Blake 7 main range. And remember, of course, there's still time to enter my competition to win the Blake 7 box set. All you have to do is email me at the usual address, telling me exactly why you want it. That's not important. What is important is Torchwood. It's back. We've got Captain Jack. And you know what? This is a great way back in. If you never liked Torchwood. Give this a go. It's better than you remember. Now I know everyone and their dog bangs on about how brilliant Children of Earth was and how marvellously well thought out Miracle Day was. But for me, Torchwood is at its best in Series 2. It will always be the case. And this has a very Series 2 feel to it. It's got some of the tinges of darkness of the other two later series. But you know what? It kind of works. Now, there's the implication that this is the beginning of a nice new arc. A continuing story. Or at least something that'll come back. Now, I did moan a little bit about it not being completely full cast. But this works here. The cast is brilliant, by the way. John Sessions puts in perhaps the greatest performance I've ever experienced him do. He is utterly believable in the role. His daughter, again, Sterling, and you've got that voiceover. Now, because you've got the voiceover of Jack Harkness in the opening sequence of Torchwood itself, you also have the voiceover. It lends itself so much more to what's going on and it's speedier. Now I'm not a big fan of the narration. I'd much rather do the show don't tell but admittedly you're telling because it's audio but you know what I mean. Here it works. It's a tight compact grubby little tale that has ideas way above its station and it just works. An ex-news reporter has ideas about conspiracies, about people who are secretly ruling the world, and he's spot on. I do not want to give away any spoilers about this, but what I do want to do is encourage you to go out and seek out this. Because if you liked Torchwood, it's back and this is how it's going to stay. Now, of course, the reason... That Jack Harkness is only in this first story and is in this story in this certain set way is because, well, the actor's busy. He's in the States. He's making, well, you're already watching the shows. You already know these things. You don't need me to tell you. I'm sure he'll be back to do some sort of variety specials. But let's face it, you can't be in two places at once. Audio lends itself so much better to this sort of thing. So a short review, yes, but that's only because I don't want to give you too many spoilers. What I want to do is play the trailer and let you make up your own mind. And we'll be back very soon talking about Doctor Who and the like. But until then, Torchwood is back once a month from Big Finish. And you know you want it. 
Go on, a brand new set. Jump in at the beginning. You know you want to. So until next time, be seeing you. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to open your eyes and expand your minds in the presence of the one, the only, George Wilson. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Torchwood, The Conspiracy. I'd like you to meet Jack Harkness, the guy I was telling you about. He writes for Plexus magazine. Great. Well, far away. Okay, maybe we could start by talking about the committee. You say your contacts wish to remain anonymous because they fear for their lives. Yet you talk about this stuff, and you haven't been killed. Uh, Not yet, no. But you think the committee might one day have you assassinated? It's a very real possibility. Sam! I'm going to come up there and get you down, okay? No! They said if you try and help me, they'll kill us both! We all have to die someday. If they're already on Earth, then the committee is everywhere. In every government. In every boardroom. On every TV screen. They look like you or me. In fact, every time you turn on the TV or open a newspaper, they are staring you in the face. I am coming for them. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on RSS, iTunes, Stitcher, Audio Boom, and Tumblr. Doctor Who and its associated works are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. You can contact the show, donate, buy merchandise, or find out more about my other projects by visiting the Tin Dog Podcast homepage and clicking on the links. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. (laughs) 